Welcome back. Today we've got Robbo with us. Hi. He's come to lend a hand and we are going to start stripping this room out ready for the roof. Yeah, so, so we're basically going to take everything off that doesn't make water come in. Yeah, or we're going to take everything off that doesn't hold the roof up at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to bag it all and then the next water we get we're going to remove all the rubbish I'm a bit out. upset about doing this. Why? Because obviously last week I spent all day cleaning up and we're going to make a big mess. Oh. Where's he going to leave his socks this week? <laughs> socks? You have socks everywhere. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh yeah, noticed. I got wet feet last week. <laughs> <They've been noticed. laughs> so the plan is today we're going to take the roof off the wheelhouse to see what the beams are like. The underneath. inside bit of the roof, yeah. The, yeah, the not ceiling. the roof, the yeah. ceiling. Yeah, the ceiling. So the gonna, the, is, is the deck head underneath or above? Do you know when people say you jabber on too much? Okay, we're going to remove that and we're going to strip all the walls off. So, should we go and do it? Do it. Three decades removing the decades. <laughs> Three decades this week. <laughs> Three decades and one boat this week. <laughs> so, we're going to take up the carpet because obviously we need to assess the floor here to make sure the floor's good before we start doing roofs, you know, work your way up sort of thing. So, plan is. All the carpet's coming up and it'll make it easier, you know, for all the mess that we make because the hoover's not the greatest. So at least we can just brush up. And then once the carpet's up, we're going to start ripping off the walls. Fun this. <laughs> All the things you could be doing on a Saturday morning. What? Has it bit you yet to grip a rod? Uh, no, not yet. Still time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I really bit you in the <laughs> face. That would have been a good one, wouldn't it? Might have needed mouth to mouth. Robbo brought dinner with him, didn't he? I think he's feeding the 5,000. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, once fell sweet. That's a blinding job you've done Whoa. there, Robert. <laughs> no cover in these windows. Oh, Gemma, I think I broke your boat. <gasps> oh, no. Bring him here and he breaks me boat. <laughs> Hi. Cool. So we've took all the carpet up now, and now we are on to removing all of the panelling off the walls. Wow, magic light! You've seen the light now, yeah. So me Dyson, that Simon brought for me, it's died. It's completely, utterly. Dad, all it does is flash red, so that can go. I need a new Hoover. Um, oh, it was just collecting dust, wasn't it? It was just collecting dust this one. <laughs> oh, these jokes are getting better and better. It's almost like you've been doing this for a while now. <laughs> Do you know what could be the problem with the Hoover? It's not plugged in. No, maybe it's the amount of water <laughs> <that's in. laughs> I could have something to do with it. So, it's actually 9mm ply on the walls. Got a bit of beef, but it's full of. Yeah. The itchy stuff. So I think we need to get some gloves. 
Mask up. And some bin bags. Mask up as well with all the dust, yeah. And some masks. And some eye protection. Yeah, well, we're all right. It's just him, isn't it? Yeah. (laughs) Who pretends he can still see. Do you know what? Itchy eyes. Cool. And then we've got to find a space to put all this now. Cool. Oh, look at that. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's from the outside. We knew, we knew that was Paula. I got a crack in my boat. <laughs> this is not butt crack. Yeah. Not yet, anyway. Makes a change, doesn't it? Actual crack and not Simon's. <laughs> My poor boat. Cool. It's all messy. Ah. Got to make a few, break a few eggs to make an omelette, haven't you? Why have you got two pairs of goggles on? One on. Yeah, I'll put them on better. Because it's like double protection. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you got two pairs of goggles on? No one can say I don't wear enough eye protection now. We keep losing the duct tape, so I found using my bald head. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like getting a wax? I don't know, but I've been waxed. Why don't you see duct tape instead of all oh, this posh light? Hold on. Yes! There you go, till the next time. Yeah. There you go, fill out. It's alright, it's a good way of transporting, isn't it? Pull it. Should I pull it and is this? No. No, I think that needs to come off, doesn't it? You need you need proper muscles to do that. So these windows were fitted in really well. Got air conditioning around your windows. Oh no. <laughs> Stuck. Get off! Can oh, you no. use a tissue when you sneeze? <laughs> Sorry. Look at the boat. What have you done? <laughs> Don't know. Oh, progress. Progress. We are uncovering stuff. And, uh, yeah. It's going alright. It's going alright. I don't know if it could be a big roll, but... <laughs> so you can't lose it now. <laughs> oh man, it's pulled over for you. So I am gonna crack on taking that side off. And you're gonna do the wheel out, aren't you? We are. You lot can wave bye bye to that lovely ceiling for a few. Don't know how long. It's coming off. I found the love of use from your head. <laughs> you <Yeah>, a light. <laughs> okay, so do me a favour. Don't get sealing dirt in me tea bags, will you? Okay. Bye, sealing. So, should we start along these edges? Start with number one. Write it on here too, so we know where it all fits. Yeah, back yeah, yeah. Is that thinking? That's a good idea. Right? Yeah.
that ply come off really easy. It's just like crumble. Uh, this one's a bit better, but the screws they've used are obviously weren't stainless and they're all rusty. So they're just they're not coming out. So I'm just having to prise it off as best I can. But the quality of the ply was a bit better on this bit than it was there. <laughs> We disable the power, so I know I'm not gonna go. <laughs> so I can get this last panel off. So we'll just check it's actually off, and Simon hasn't switched the wrong thing off. Oh, no. Should still be on. So. Okay. Yeah, we're still on. Now we are off. Thank you. Ta -da. Right, so we've now cleared the room out, we've got all the fat gloss insulation off. It's very echoey. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but can you hear the echo? And it's very dull. Mm -hmm. It's gloomy because we've, we've moved the lights back. I didn't want to bang it. Anyway. So what we need to do now, because the primary objective was this, was to inspect the, the plywood below the fiberglass because obviously this is what we're changing all the way through. Um, I'm quite pleased that it, the rock doesn't go all the way forward because there's a lot of details on the like the combing on the on the caps on the outside. So hopefully we can actually let a piece of fly in but we'll we'll see what the most efficient way of doing that is. Anyway so here's our beams so we now need to make a template of the curvature of the, basically the very top edge of the plywood. So that's our, that's our goal now, is to, we're going to copy this one and we're going to see if it fits that one. But the only reason I'm doing this one is because this is the widest area that we can actually get into, so. Right. So we're going to make a template that we can take back to the workshop and we can cut all our beams with the right curvature in that we need before we bring them to the boat when we're doing the roof. Yeah, just be the job option, sir. Yes! Right, template time. Template. So first we need to measure like the widest point. So if you go long. Okay, so three fright. Three thousand three hundred and seventy. Alright, uh, so we got some what's it called? Fibre board or something like that. Basically comes when we order like a big pile of Posh furniture board, um, it's like a protective layer. Anyway, so we're going to use this as our template material. Mm. Bad, look it. It's like two mil off the bottle. <laughs> Quick cut so it off. So it's two mil up. It might fit in it's the It's better being two mil down, isn't it? <laughs> well, two mil's not until us to the bank, it's quite a lot. So we've now made this monstrosity, which we need to cut down, but we don't need to get, get it in the wheelhouse, so... So it goes. To me! <laughs> Let's go through the door. Do you have to use a lot of deodorant working so closely to each other? Not really. No, I like his smell. I use beaver, beaver repellent. <laughs> so as you can see, we're touching here on this beam, but then it's not touching there. So that's our... That's our curve. I'm sure there's a very posh way of doing it, very measuring the radius and calculating and stuff like that, but... We're not posh. We don't do mad, crazy calculations. We just sort of draw lines on it and stuff. So uh, the best tool I've found, I'm not going too in depth for them, Jim. No? Okay. Is a, um, a compass. Easiest, best tool you can ever use for like doing curves and trying to make sort of straight pieces fit into round holes. So um, you basically start with, start long, you then measure the deepest point 
always, always give yourself a bit to cut off. So, so that will basically mark there. And then you can go around and check, but you can pretty much guarantee now that that is definitely the narrowest point. So that's going to go to there, yeah. And then so we'll begin on this profile here. So, sorry, um, I shall start drawing. Obviously, I'll put my screw in the wrong place, but we're not that bothered about these cuts. So. so the biggest thing you need to watch is that you're not on an angle, because we want this piece to go up. So we need to be the, the shortest distance from there to there. Otherwise, if we're up here, it'll give us a a false bit of false information, won't it? So we've got to start. So beep. Oh, is this alarm? Is the alarm? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now keeping it as flat as we can. So that line goes to there. Biggest scribe I've ever done. So now we take it to the bed and just cut it, and that should technically now fit perfectly into here. You usually, if we did a really, really fine cut, we'd do it in two hits. some substandard cuts, you know. Well, have you ever known me to do substandard cuts? Friday. All them days ends in the past. Did you tie your hair up, Gemma? Yeah. Yeah? Especially for the jigsaw. Especially for the jigsaw, I put my hair up. Good, that. You know what? He's not just a bald head, is he? So you can see around here it kind of bulges a bit, but we we just followed the swollen ply. But um, it was quite obvious when we put a straight edge across here. Um, we know to correct in the workshop. So we need to take this part now, don't we? And then make some beams. But the beams going to be 15 feet long, so they're going to like curve all the way down. But we think it's the same radius all the way through. So, but we can actually check that in the workshop. So, so what's your findings? 
So, yeah, what did we find today? Did we find anything that we weren't expecting? I don't think so. I, no. so. I think it's actually better than, it's better than I expected it to be. Yeah. Well, we know we've got to replace the walls because- In places. You, they'll all be getting placed. Have a look at it over here. We've got, um, Oh, I'll do that. I filled that with, um... <laughs> so, so we've got air conditioning. So you broke it? No, it was only <laughs> broke, but I, um... I filled it with expanding foam. But we can replace the walls after we've done the roof. So we know they need replacing, but it's not an issue that's going to stop us doing you, the roof. You've worked out how the structure of the walls ties in with the new structure that's going to be on the roof, haven't you? And it is doable yeah. as well. Found the window doesn't quite fit as well, didn't we? No, the window's definitely um, hanging out. It's just air conditioning, ventilation. Yeah, you're going to need it. Summer's on yeah. its way. But what we have sort of realised now is it looks like the roof has been butchered. Um, and we think potentially the roof is put on and then they've gone, oh, we need to get to the engines or put the engines in. So if you see, I'll show you in the wheelhouse first because you can see better. So we've got our beams. And then we've got these ones running this way and there's three of them and they follow out of the wheelhouse and into the midship saloon so they continue there's number one number two there is very rotten they painted a different color that one aren't they yeah but they stop here and then all the way through the rest of it is like a jigsaw puzzle with random pieces of wood. <laughs> so that's a nice bit of two by two there. And then there's nothing there at all. So, and then there's a random piece here. So it has just been put together like a jigsaw piece. It hasn't been done in a nice, well, they've done it and then they've obviously took the roof off, put the engines back in and pieced it all together. So we have got the walls to replace. We've got a section of flooring that needs replacing as well. So that's on the to-do list. But we've got our template now for the roof beams so we can make them all in a workshop. And yeah, now it's just wait until Easter to get everything done for the roof. So next week, <laughs> Back to Don't next week, do <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, no, it's been It's been a good day. It, it looks better, even with just the bare walls and it did with all that white plastic cladding on. It looked so 80s porn palace, didn't it, with that stuff on? Like, so. What? Wipe clean? Yeah, <laughs> that's it, yeah. Easy clean. It looks so much bigger as well now. Yeah, massive, it on. It? But You've also realised as well just how many unnecessary wires that have been mm. left in here as well. It's just spaghetti well, junction, isn't pulling, it? Don't they? So, show me rubbish. yeah, we've got a load of rubbish that we now need to wait for high tide to move off. <laughs> Again. Again. After I cleaned it last week, look. The biggest piece of oak in the world there behind the red pepper. Yeah, that's a um, big lump of oak. Take that back to the workshop and I'm sure we'll use it for something. So, bit of a... Obviously, we... It's been productive because we've took everything off that we needed to take off to assess the whole job for the roof. Um, yeah, now it just looks like my boat's messy and dirty again, but I'll have to deal with that, won't I? So, thank you so much for helping today, Robbo. No, oh God, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. And um, just to prove that men can use a vacuum cleaner as well, I was vacuuming. Did we get that on film, though? Oh, I don't know. I don't Essentially. Know. Yeah. I vouch for him. He cleaned up. <laughs> <laughs> so... Si looked at me funny. So what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll, I'll, I'll be coming out of closet again next week. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. And you're going to come back to help us fit the new roof, aren't you? Allegedly so, yeah. We're going to hold him hostage and make him do it. <laughs> oh, well, worst things have happened. Yeah. yeah. So see you all next week. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye.
No, right. one, no one ever knows when to talk on them. <laughs> oh, stop it. Oh, you know. Take 25! <laughs> oh, yeah, he's like the power yeah, of but... 10 men. <laughs> it's like... That help in inverted commas, though, yeah? <laughs> what are you doing? Taking up the carpet. Oh, um, but... This isn't quite what I had in mind when she said, do you want to tear up my carpet, but... <laughs> not, not the sort of rug you were going to play with. That will definitely not make it. No <laughs> one needs to know. So... Is that right? <laughs> you tell people. <laughs> you just knocked the floor out of everything, don't you? Funny. <laughs> Too long. Okay. See, it depends where you measure it from. Oh. This is where, no, I'm going to have to time here because everyone will have a fucking shock of their life if I do it with my hair hanging down. I've got a complaint. Okay. These aren't designed for left handed people. Do you want to know why? Because when you're doing it left handed, it all blows up into your face. So you've got to use it with your right hand. Learn something new every day. Yeah. 